Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be talking about the Fourier transform and and how it's widely used in image processing. It's not only in image processing but it's used in many engineering disciplines like uh, mechanical engineering, heat transfer, uh, materials uh, engineering, uh, electrical engineering and also uh, image processing and, and um, in uh, computer vision okay but this is right out of your uh, uh, documentation uh, in the open CV where it explains a little bit about the theory of how it decomposes images into sines and cosines and how it transforms an image from the time domain or some the spatial domain into the frequency domain and uh, I found a very good uh, website uh, it's of, out of uh, Ecole Polytechnique Federal de Lausanne in uh, Switzerland and it's a very nice demo that it explains um, how um, how it works for example is this is out of the biomedical imaging group or the out of the Ecole Polytechnique I believe that that's where uh, Einstein went when was but it, the one in Zurich um, but um, anyway this is uh, what you, we're going to do here. Uh, it has images, different images. Um, he, this one is a, of a textile, so as you can see, it's a, a, the, it's a different texture analysis. And uh, we're going to compute the fast Fourier transform by clicking here, and the image will, will come up. If you want to do this, um, you have to start the demo here and uh, it's an applet so if you don't like applets some people don't like applets they're afraid of them but uh, I haven't had any 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 problems with it but uh, it will ask you wh whether you want to run an applet just I'm just letting you know so so I know some people are, are get freaked out when it comes to applets but anyway let's uh, compute the, this image here is gonna come up here and as you can see you can see the edges here it's uh it's really really nice let's do a a, di a different one let's do a rotation one this is a car and uh let's compute it a little car toy car on a surface and let's do it and so you can see the edges now let's do a rotation two so you're gonna see the change um, and you know, so you can see you barely can see but it if you really uh, let me let me do the other one again and let me make a copy of it as you can see let me make a copy and now let's do the second one and let's make another copy as you can see they have shifted you see they, they have shifted this one a, a lot a little bit to the to the left as you can see um, and it's, it's a very nice demo because you can do let's do I want to see this one these are this one's got edges as you can see here it has it's an octagon so it's got eight edges and you're gonna see the edges uh, being nicely uh, represented here so you can see this one two three four five six seven eight just like we expected it's a very nice demo for that because sometimes uh, we this is a, a nice one here this is circle you're gonna see it here and you can see here also let's do another one let's do Lena as you can see some of the the edges from maybe the ha the the hat and the hair and Let's do this is a nice one and oh you can see the grid you can see uh, all of the lines this is a nice one okay but this is a nice demo uh, I will include the the, uh, the link in the description of the video and there's another website in this one it really gets into detail explaining how these are the the, the Fourier transforms down here this one will be for that image and this one here will be for that image and it, it gets really into detail on uh, 
on rotation, what it does, and explaining how, how it works, uh, salt and pepper noise, blur, noisy images. Edges, that's a nice one. As you can see, all of these edges, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there's about there's a lot of them there, right? As you can see, there's you can see all the edges. And you in the brick here, you could barely you is you can see the edges here from the from whatever is going on, all these lines, but it's very different from that one. And the letters here, I noticed the Q. The Q is completely different, and that's a and the uh, B. You can see the circular, the circular notion of it. The T, it looks like a T. And but it's a very nice website. You can go in it, and I will also include the link in t in the description of the video if you have the time. Maybe you can go in there. It's it's, a, it's very nice. But uh, let's get back to OpenCV. In OpenCV, we're going to let me make room room here. Um, this is a uh, I downloaded uh, eight. Uh, oops, what is the? Oh, I was running some arrays. Sorry, let me clear this up. Huh? And I I downloaded uh, some. Uh, photographs images from from this uh, website and um, and I'm going to run uh, the fast Fourier that is fun with numpy and and matplotlib and uh, and OpenCV and we're going to see the difference of and, and I'll explain the code um, let's, uh, let's open it Okay, th uh, these are the images that I downloaded, as you can see here. Uh, th they're from these photo photographers, uh, this one, I downloaded that one, I downloaded that one, and there's uh, in the other page here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to run this, uh, this um, code onto those images, and you're going to see, because each, each I downloaded that one, that one. Each one is different. I downloaded that one and that one. And you're going to see the difference uh, in the code. Um, I did, um, let me put it all in one so we, so we know what we, which one we're talking about. Uh, what did I call it? Uh, show. Oh, it's not here, it's in pictures, and this is the one. And let me close everything else. And these are the images. I, I, they're order, the way I have them in order and uh, in the code, so, so you can see. The first one is this photo here by that photographer. The second one is this one by the same photographer, but you can see that you're gonna see and and the transform the edges and and you're gonna see what kind of things make a huge difference and what kind of things do not make a difference. Sometimes things that you think that will make a great uh, a big difference in the in the transform, sometimes it doesn't. You're gonna see what this does and what this does and what this does okay but let me explain the code a little bit uh, we're importing numpy importing matplot um, pylab import computer vision i'm reading the images i'm going to include the uh, the code like i always do so if you want to play around with it you can and uh, i'm inputting the images uh, right here putting them 
running a, a, a loop X, Y, and Z loop. The magnitude, the fast Fourier transform, it's right here. Um, the shift magnitude, and then this one to layout for the layout of the pictures, so they all look, uh, so they're all in order, like like I have them here. Okay, but like I said, I, I'm going to include it in the, the description of the video. Okay, so let's run it. running as you can see let's minimize this and these are the same pictures this one oops no that's not the one this is the one um, minimize it again and this one is that one is that one as you can see there is some uh, there's a lot of uh, edges I don't know if you can see it well I'm going to open it there's a lot of uh, a lot of it going on here but not as much as you would have expected and let's do the other one here this one you would have expected there's a lot more here you know, with the little cheetah and the and the woman let's see what that one looks like this is what that one is you know not as much as you would expect the there's uh they're not the edges are not are not uh, are not coming out as much as I would have expected anyway this one is that one right here and you know this one you can see a lot a lot more than that one and I think it is product of the of these edges here and her hair and you can see there's a lot more going on than that one, that this picture right here. Let's see it again. As you can see, there's a lot of these lines here. These are some of the edges. Okay. And let's look the other one here. This one is that one is this one right here. And many, a lot, nice and a lot of edges very symmetrical because just as, as the picture right you can see all of the edges all of these right here okay and this one it I was surprised with that with this one you can see there's a lot going on also there's a lot of um, very strong horizontal and vertical and also the diagonal edges and this one was my favorite and you can see it's very strong horizontal and uh, the edges I think these are the ones right here one two and three and you can see I might be wrong but uh, that was my favorite it came out very very clearly defined but this is a uh, uh, a little bit about the Fourier transform is it's just uh, touching the surface um, it's very it's a, it's a very deep subject I mean you can spend a, a whole year and some universities spend two semesters just talking about uh, Fourier analysis and Fourier transforms I just wanted to give you uh, an idea of that it is possible to run some of these algorithms in your through computer vision and using some of the Python ecosystem found with NumPy and and uh, SciPy and, and, and PyLab and, and, and the whole Python ecosystem. And uh, in the next tutorial we'll be talking more about um, uh, a little bit deeper into it and I hope you join us and uh, like always if you like the tutorial please click the like box and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.